Dr. Dawkins, we would like to ask you about the role of museums in science education, uh, especially concerning evolution. Uh, do, you have, do you have any thoughts on this topic? The great majority of what goes on in a museum is hidden away mm -hmm. in the basement and in places around, but not on public view. That's where the research goes on, and it's immensely important research. It's hugely important research. Um, but the bits on public view are also extremely important because they bring to children, to the public, um, these wonderful, these are all casts, but they're, they're beautiful casts of, of various um, hominids. Some of them possibly our ancestors, some of them not, some of them our cousins. Uh, and for children to come and see these magnificent uh, specimens is very moving and very educational. In this country, there's a particular problem with the subversion of education, in particular e evolution of education, by religious fundamentalists. And so it is very important that people should see these fossils. Um, a lot of fundamentalists still think there aren't any fossils. I mean, they say, show me the missing link. And um, so it, it, it's very useful to say there are lots and lots of missing links. They're not missing anymore. Um, they were missing in Darwin's time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Darwin was prescient in guessing that the right place to, to look was Africa, which not many people at the time did. Uh, and um, he was proved right. And um, so all these fossils are from Africa. And um, they are our history, our prehistory. And they're very important, vitally important for education. Mm -hmm.